Hey guys, so I'm spending some time with God this morning and I'm just praying to him, you know, just thanking him for all he's about to do. And I hear him say something that I wanted to share with you guys. So he told me there are ways beyond your understanding. And this was at 4.53 in the morning. So when I looked that up in the Strong's Concordance, 4.53 in the Strong's Hebrew is associated to the name Elihu, E-L-I-H-U. And that means he is my God. And then in the Strong's Greek, it means not understanding. So the verse that came to my mind was Isaiah 55, verse 8 through 9. So this is the verse. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways your ways, declares the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts greater than your thoughts. Oh, and my thoughts than your thoughts. So in my Bible, I actually have this highlighted up to verse 11. So I'm just going to keep reading. It's verse 10. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven and do not return there, but water the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I propose and shall succeed in the thing for which I sent. And I know some of you guys have commented about suddenlies, about God giving you either dreams or giving you a word about things happening suddenly. And that's what came to my mind as I was reading this, because you know that when something happens suddenly, we can't comprehend in our mind how that happened, right? It's beyond our understanding. It's God's ways. And so I just, I just believe we should be expectant guys, because that was just so random that he's like, it's beyond your understanding. And I remember reading this scripture yesterday and I was look, I was, because I know it wasn't in the Bible, but I read it. So I was like, where did I read this? And when I went into the group chat from my Bible study, my spiritual mom had put this verse yesterday. And sometimes when God leads her to a certain scripture that she, if she feels it in her spirit, she will just share it. Like no comment, nothing. She just shares the verse in um, the group chat. And so I think there's no coincidence that this Reminded me of the scripture, which is the same scripture she shared yesterday. And I also just want to add too, guys, that when things happen like beyond our understanding, sometimes they happen in ways that we wouldn't expect. And something that my spiritual mom and I have been talking about is about God working in an ironic manner, which means doing something opposite from what you would expect but still bringing forth that which he said and um this is something that god has spoken to me about last year it's actually during the time when i first started journaling um and it was associated to the number 12 22 when i was like looking into that number and it speaks about having things come about in an ironic manner and maybe what you're asking God for what you're praying for, what you're waiting for, he might fulfill it in an ironic manner. For, you know, an example that we can use is Jesus's crucifixion, right? When people were awaiting the Messiah, they believed that the Messiah would come and liberate them from the Romans, right? They believed that that's what the Messiah would come to do, that he would come and overthrow their government or the Roman Empire and that would liberate God's people, right? So when Jesus died on the cross, it was contrary to what they were expecting. But in that, in that event, right, they were liberated because it reconciled their relationship with God and gave them the chance to receive eternal life, right? And so it did not happen the way they thought, but it was through the Jesus' crucifixion and resurrection that they were truly liberated. And so I just want you guys to keep that in mind as you're waiting to see the fulfillment of what God promised you. It may happen in an ironic manner. 
some things may die first before they come back to life, okay? And so do not allow that when it happens contrary to what you thought, don't allow it to impact your faith. Don't allow it to um, cause you to think that God's not going to fulfill that which he said. Because like it says here in verse 11, so shall my word be that goes from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I propose and shall succeed in the thing for which I sent it. God is not a man that he shall lie. His word never returns to him void. If God made you a promise and he confirmed it through scripture or through another godly counsel, you stand on that. I don't care how it looks. I've told you guys in the past, you stand on it. I have seen God come through too many times in my life on what he has promised me, even when it didn't look possible so that I can come here and testify to you guys. You stand on it. Okay. So I just pray that this encourages you guys as we keep looking to these days in expectancy of what God's about to do. And until next time.